in stark contrast to the often overwhelmingly crowded and popular Angkorian ruins, Bontake Day is peaceful and quiet. Its name means citadel of chambers, which is apt. The ruins are a fascinating maze of chambers that are a delight to explore. Also serving as a Buddhist temple, these ruins have been home to an active monastery at multiple time periods since their construction in the 12th century, up until the 1960s. Today, the ruins are overgrown and seemingly forgotten by the bustling Encore tourism industry. Its solitude and mystery make it a hidden gem for explorers of the region. Tall trees cast shade over Buddhist bari leaves, and many hours can be spent in its meandering design. Why you should visit Bontake a day? As stated earlier, the lack of crowds is extremely refreshing. Being in an ancient temple alone and in peace is a very spiritual experience compared to elbowing your way through a crowd of gawking photographers. If you seek a good location to watch the sunrise, Bontake Day is an excellent choice along with its neighbor Srisrong. The experience of entering the temple is great, as a Buddhist monk or nun guards a small shrine located near the entrance. A blessing and donation are not expected, so do not feel obligated to interact with the monk or nun if you do not wish. Photo opportunities abound at Bontake Day, with its labyrinth of overgrown halls and courtyards. History and Architecture Bontake Day was built in the late 12th and early 13th centuries under the reign of Jayavarman VII. The temple was created in a very similar architectural style as Bayon, Top Rope, and Prakan. However, it is small in size compared to other Angkor temples. The layout of the temple is three enclosures within an outer compound wall. The inner enclosure is lined with galleries that run along its axis and lead to the main temple. Unfortunately, it was built with a poor grade of sandstone and construction methods were inferior compared to other Angkor temples. The very deteriorated condition today is evidence of that. However, ongoing renovation is being conducted in order to restore much of the original condition of the temple. An interesting part of its style is that its gates are adorned with the same face towers, also called Gapuras, as Angkor Tom's five gates. The most agreed upon theory among historians is that the face towers as Jayavarman VII's signature, and represent both himself and the god Moksvara, also known as Avalokitesvara. Another interesting similarity between Bonteka Day and Taprokam is the Hall of Dancers located just before the entryway on the temple's east side. It is decorated with Apsara dancer bari leaves and a seated Buddha that watches over the corridor. Within the courtyard, if you look up at the towers, you can see the historic and interesting David is. These designs are well preserved in comparison to the rest of the ruins. Thank for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.